Welcome at ICT University. In this video, we'll look at some options for installing or replacing various wireless components, along with some of the architectures that you can encounter. We begin with a USB Wi-Fi adapter. The USB Wi-Fi adapter will allow a device with a USB interface to connect to a wireless network. There is no cable needing and without having to install any additional internal hardware or without needing any upgrade to your system. Another very common wireless connection method is Bluetooth, which is more commonly used to connect peripheral devices to your computer, to create a personal area network or a PAN. For example, you might use Bluetooth to connect your smartphone to your laptop, along with other devices such as mice or keyboards, audio speakers, printers, music players, gaming controllers and many others. If your device has no Bluetooth capabilities built in, you can install a Bluetooth adapter. On the older model devices, you might also see a USB dongle, which connects to the device using its inherent USB interface. Then the other end would be a specific connector for the type of Bluetooth adapter you wanted to install. The architectures just mentioned are all accessible externally on laptops. There was literally a slot on the edge of the device into which you inserted the card. But some older model laptops and some desktop computers might have an internal architecture known as Mini PCI. PCI stands for Peripheral Component Interconnect, but it would be a slot that was square in its shape, but the interface was directly mounted on the motherboard of the system and used a 124-pin edge connector. This means that the device being installed is simply inserted into that interface. If the device itself used the mini PCI architecture, it does not matter what type of device it is. You can install anything into that slot as long as the architecture matched. However, mini PCI has been succeeded by mini PCI Express, which is a 54-pin edge connection with a more rectangular shape. But the same rule applies. Any device using that architecture can be installed into that connector, and it should work. Another option is to use cellular connections, which allows you anywhere access to high-speed internet using the same type of cellular service that you have for your smartphone. Depending on the device, you might have mobile broadband connectivity built in, such as with some tablets, or it could be in the form of a USB stick that can be used across many devices, sometimes referred to as rocket drives or rocket sticks. You just plug them in like any other USB device. In most cases your operating system will recognize and configure it automatically. It will then connect you to the same network provider that you use for your smartphone, or to whichever provider the adapter itself is subscribed. These types of connections are useful for when there is no available Wi-Fi. For example, when you're on a long trip in a car or a train, or being outdoors as in a park, forest or camping. As long as you can pick up on the cellular service then you have access to the internet on that device. For the replacement on a laptop, begin by turning off the laptop and disconnect all power, including the battery, remove the wireless card compartment door if applicable, or eject the existing card if it's using the PC card or Express card architecture. Remove any mounting screws if present and remove the adapter itself. Then insert the new device and perform all previous steps in reverse. For the replacement on desktop systems, it's not uncommon for a wireless card to have an antenna. Because the desktop can draw more power and because they aren't as mobile, the antenna can help to increase the range of the connection, but if there is an antenna, then it's also likely removable. In most cases, it just screws onto a mount on the card itself, so simply detach the antenna, remove the old card and install the new one making sure to attach the new antenna if applicable. Then install any vendor provided software or drivers and test the device to make sure it's working as expected. Most newer systems these days, both laptops and desktops, will likely have most of these wireless connection types built in, although cellular would generally be something that you would have to request, except for something like your smartphone. Many environments are still using devices that only have some of them, or possibly none of them, but with these methods, their connectivity capabilities can be expanded. This will translate into a longer lifespan for the unit itself, which can save your environment significant cost, as compared to upgrading every single device. That was it for this video. Thank you for watching until next time.